you know, I just got up, dog, and, you know, I'm seeing all this shit for the first time. So let me um, clear the air. All right. Let me clear the air around here because I think motherfuckers got shit confused. Now, for starters, um, we'll start with John Logic. OK, we're going to start with him first. OK, John, can you please shut the fuck up? And, and the reason why I say this, John, is because. It doesn't matter who says what about you on YouTube because this is YouTube, you stupid ass nigga. You know what? Lashid for you, me, L.A., if I want to, motherfucker, I could say your name and write your name in every motherfucking comment section and your bitch ass ain't going to do shit. OK, you're you right there. You, sir, are a fucking coward. Let me let me explain to you why you want to sit up here and make videos uh, uh, to Lashid talking about to leave your motherfucking ass alone. I haven't seen her knock on your motherfucking dough, nigga. You claim that this shit ain't your life and this, that, the other motherfuckers. Then why are you stalking her to know every single goddamn thing that she said? You lame ass nigga. Super lame ass nigga. I mean, are you serious, dog? Every time you come up here and make a video addressing somebody, you embarrass yourself. Talk about Lashid for you talking about she need help and this, that, the other. Sir, you need help. You need help. You know what? A lot of people don't believe in the Bible. All right. But we're going to use John Logic as a biblical example. All right. We're going to use him as a biblical example right now. Now, the reason why you would want to, let's say, put your heart and soul and body and mind in the motherfucking scripture, the word of God, is because when you look at niggas like John Logic, this motherfucker is taking baths with eight-year-olds. So I'm just saying, all of these motherfuckers that don't believe in scripture, see, they got something twisted on the inside of their brain. The things that they think that is okay to do with children. See, I don't hear anybody bringing that up, John. When Tommy exposed your bitch ass, yeah, he saw you taking baths with your motherfucking daughter, which was eight years old, and it's just coincidental that you and him both don't believe in the Bible or y'all don't believe in God, but so y'all motherfuckers like to touch on kids. Seriously. Lashid, baby, like Kevin said, what the fuck do you think you're going? I mean, look, make fun of him. <laughs> make fun of him. This old goddamn. Oh, my God. All of these motherfuckers that don't fuck with scripture are borderline goddamn pedophiles. You ever noticed that? All these motherfuckers, man. That's coming back. And. That have some type of disbelief, man. Got some type of twisted mentality, man. They, they, these some sick motherfuckers. It's a reason why these niggas turn away from God. All right? It's a reason. It's a real motherfucking reason. Now, this brings me to another motherfucker on YouTube that don't believe in God. He said it, uh, uh, you know, quite a few times. And that individual is Monty. Monty. Now, Monty, I could uh, uh, understand why you say you don't believe in God, right? You know, because everybody got their own opinion on the fact that, you know what I'm saying, that you're not a believer. You don't believe in that shit at all. So my question to Monty is, <clears throat> if you didn't believe in God, why the fuck did you get married? Like, you know. I'm just saying, you might take that as a roast, you might take that as a diss, but I'm on some real shit, my nigga. Why the fuck did you get married if you don't believe in God? I mean, if I was your mans, like if I was Marty, nigga, I would have told you not to do that shit. If I was Marty, because Marty know, Marty believe in God, right? So ask that nigga if I'm bullshitting on what you did, nigga. You ain't got to believe in God. But if Marty is some type of real motherfucking Christian and Reef call himself a motherfucking Muslim and both of these motherfuckers believe in God and they yo motherfucking mans and they let you do that shit. It's not about who you 
your wife, nigga, your wife could be a fucking uh, a nigga. You could have married goddamn Angelina Jolie. But for you, sir, to not believe in God, okay? And to walk down that aisle anyway, I don't give a fuck who the female was. That was a mistake, homeboy. I'm just saying. And for your motherfucking peoples to not drop that insight on you, that's kind of fucked up. Because whether you believe in demons or not, Monty, um, look, I could easily break down shit. You probably got about 15 or 20 of the motherfuckers running around you attacking you at, at full motherfucking strength on the simple fact that you, you, you did a ritual. You did a ritual that you don't believe in. So you don't know how to like ward off the repercussions because you don't believe in them, but you still feel the effects. Let's see. You fucked up your back for like the rest of your life. All right. That, that, that's something that'll always fuck with you. Now, you got money out of it. But at the same time, nigga, that was a sacrifice. Nigga, I mean, look, would you would you would you chop off your your, your left motherfucking leg to get another hundred thousand dollars? I mean, seriously, would you put your leg up under Gang Weezy's truck and let him run over that shit so y'all could go get another hundred grand? See what I'm saying? I mean, seriously. So, look, that. That's one, right? That's one, right? You, you look, you had your show. You had all your shit. Everything was up and running. Like, Monty, no. I, I watch Monty Wood Gray. He know. He can roast the shit out of me. I, I look, I'm the only motherfucker that laugh at it. I won't motherfucking go call his his house, his wife, uh, uh, his job, and all that shit. You might say some shit to me. I'll say some shit right back to him. But that'll be the end of that. But, Monty, I didn't see you go through a whole lot of shit with your non-belief in God ass. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I remember you always talked about, like, you know how you do all them shows on religion and this, that, the other. Nigga, yeah, you, you the only motherfucker on this bitch I ain't had no religious conversation with. But yeah, nigga, I didn't watch demons kick your motherfucking ass up and down, up and down. Nigga, they ping pong in your motherfucking ass. You ain't got to believe in them. You ain't got to believe in them. They will still whoop your, look, excuse me. I said, like, whoop you in a past tense. They are still Whooping your motherfucking ass, Monty. Yep, you ain't got to believe in them. When you got motherfuckers, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, getting to the point where, like, it gets to the point where these motherfuckers uh, uh, damn near get you fired or, or you know what I'm saying, cause, cause you to uh, 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 get damaged to your marriage and all this other type shit, my nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you call demonic shit, my nigga. You ain't got to believe in it. You ain't got to believe in it. Look, if an angel was standing in front of you, he would really give less than a fuck if you believed in him or not. I I'm just saying. You just don't know if it's one of God's angels or if it's one of Satan's. You just don't know. Nine times out of ten, it's one of Satan's. <laughs> and that ain't no roast. That's some real shit. You got motherfuckers around you. You ain't got to be a believer, dog. But you got motherfuckers around you that that, that they're claiming to tell your motherfucking homeboys. But um, I, I'm just saying, between Reef and motherfucking Marty True Blood, these motherfuckers should have God, angels, and shit covered on their end of their sector. You feel me? In your, and inside of your motherfucking team. And all I'm just saying is, niggas is slipping. Because look, yeah, I, look, Tyrone is a fucking atheist. I done told him about his motherfucking demons offline. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm straight to the point with my shit. So with that being said, if anyone was offended in this video, I really don't give a fuck. I mean, you, I mean, y'all know I don't. Y'all know I don't. All right. But um, back to John Logic. The um the atheist that believes that, you know what I'm saying, that grown men should take baths with goddamn, you know, seven, six and five and eight and nine mother you know, you see what I'm saying? Um, there's scriptures against shit like that, John. It's in Leviticus. You know what I'm saying? For your motherfucking ass, you need to start reading at 18 1 and keep reading that whole motherfucking chapter. So you understand what the word bare nakedness mean. You know what I'm saying? Let that shit burn in your motherfucking brain. But then again, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm positive. You know, if this motherfucker was to actually read a Bible, he might like just spontaneously, like he might just bust 
like explode live on camera. That might be neat. Try to read the whole chapter of Leviticus, my nigga, and, and, and put the camera on and turn that motherfucker on and see if your head don't motherfucking explode. I seriously doubt you'd make it. See, hey, look, look, let's see. Let, let, let's get back to John right quick. All right. Because I'm cool with Monty. He, Monty might not like me, but I'm still cool because, you know what I'm saying? Every time the nigga put a channel up, I go and sub to it. All right. Look, confession. But anyway, back to John, bitch ass. Now, now, Lashid, let's be honest here. Look, look, look who the fuck we talking about. We talking about a motherfucker, all right, that ain't got a shot any motherfucking way. I mean, seriously. This motherfucker, uh, you know what I'm saying, follow this little logic of atheists and science, right? But science knows that the universe is not a random act. It's not something on the element of uh, 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 evolution. All right. And look, for this dumbass motherfucker, look, okay, look, look, it, it, it goes down as simple as this. Lashid, okay? I have a video, which you already know, Lashid, where CBS, the fucking channel, okay, went to Israel and discovered the tomb of James, all right, which was Jesus' brother. I did that video for a Facebook group, which is now gone after I posted that fucking video in their group, still on my channel, all right? Now, after I post that video on my channel, three days later, the whole fucking story, everybody was watching in America, the shooting of Walter Scott. As they sat there and watched that shooting of Walter Scott, the Walter Scott shooting basically buried the story of the tomb of James being discovered. Now, after that story was over, the U.S. government went and started bombing that whole fucking area. So when you have idiots like John Logic, understand that when it comes to the Bible, you know, it's very, very direct that not everybody's going to go. All right. John's not one of these motherfuckers that God even wants in his kingdom. So why even waste your time on, you know, what 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 God is blinded, or in other words, you know, uh, like he did with Pharaoh and harden his heart. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know, it, you know, people think that on, on the level of, of um, you know, um, that it's all like you know, like Christians blame Satan. No, 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 no. Not all the time, people. Sometimes it ain't Satan, like y'all say. Sometimes it ain't Satan. Sometimes it could be God Himself. See, I mean, niggas don't like to hear the fact that sometimes God don't want you. Jesus don't want you either. That's real. Don't think that just because, John, you could just all of a sudden say, well, you know, I'm going to pray now. And all of a sudden, you're going to be cool with Jesus Christ. You know what? There's a scripture that said not everyone saying, Lord, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't have to get into that. All right. Seriously, John. Yeah, we can look at you and see that you one of the motherfuckers that ain't made the club. Trust me. Trust me, they say Jesus Christ is forgiven, but um, in your situation, uh, you 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 fall under the you fall under the uh the wicked category, nigga. You ain't got a shot. You ain't got a shot. You condemn your own children, my nigga. So I'm sorry. That's that's what you call a loss, an L. You wanna uh, look? You wanna disown Jesus Christ? A a a Lashid for you. Look. I always look, I always bring this scripture out when I'm dealing with motherfuckers like John. It's at Matthew uh, 10, 33. Okay. Matthew 10, uh, 33. That is the, uh, the scripture that uh, points out to it. Okay. We're not even going to tell John what it says. You could just go read it because, um, you know, like I said, John falls under that category. All right. Pretty much. All right. And he's pretty much like put his children on that same bus. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like John Logic's like his bloodline is going to fall off like the Pharaohs. 
like the Egyptians. Like it will end with him and his daughter. Look, trust me. Trust me. It's like every now and again, you see those uh, cursed like people walking the earth. Just like the Bible said. Some of them are actually here on YouTube. John Logic is one of them. When you want to see a motherfucker that's not going to make it past the afterlife. He, look, no, no, no. Look, trust me. He's not a motherfucker that's going to be like, you know, Jesus be walking around and be like, uh, no, not him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, your, your, your whole life turns to shit, Lashida, when you, when, you, when you renounce Jesus Christ. Your whole life turns to shit. You feel what I'm saying? It, it, it really does. It truly does. You know what I'm saying? So don't even um, waste your time or your breath on the condemned. All right. They're condemned. I mean, if you go over there and talk to them, it, look, it's not going to change their situation. <laughs> Remember, God is a third party. So is Jesus Christ. We can talk to him all day. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Talk to him. Laugh at they dumb ass. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Cause guess what? Um, what what uh what was that show? You are the weakest link. Look, nigga, look, you won't even be a link. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? Look, there, there, there's a place there, there's a place built for non-believers like you, John. It's called Oblivion. All right. It, it, it's called um, like the nothingness. You're like, okay. I always uh, compare this to like the end of Hellraiser four when they took pinheads and and they, and they took them into space and they put them inside the, the like the box and out of space and blew his ass up and out of space. Yeah, it's gonna be like that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody watch, and if you ain't seen that, anybody watch Dragon Ball Z. Like if you watch Dragon Ball Z, and uh, uh, like you know, Freezer got killed with that goddamn huge ass spirit bomb. It's like oblivion, you know. Like your whole body just disintegrate. You know, I, I'm just saying it's gonna be like that, homeboy. Since you believe in science so much, um, what happens when an atom explodes? It's gonna be like that. John. Funny thing is, that story's in the Bible, John. So that was before science was, uh, you know, being promoted. So that's kind of funny how your science is in the Bible. <laughs> oh, man. People are so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just got to be careful, man. Don't address the stupid. I mean, you can address the stupid people, but just remember you're talking to a stupid person. All right. I wouldn't even, like, you know, I, I mean, damn. John, I mean, I could sit here and, 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 and break you down in so many ways of you being a coward. Okay? How you like to, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, for no strange reason, attack a woman. All right? Because that's what you did, John. You attacked a woman for no reason at all. Real talk. See, I, I mean, look, I can't be concentrated on what a woman is saying about me online and I'm married. Let's uh let, 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 let let's let's go there. Let's go there. Are you serious, John? You lucky we ain't on BTR. I, I looked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. For real. You're gonna get all, all this work. How the hell, how the hell are you worried about what a woman says about you online and you're supposed to be married. I, I'm saying you're supposed to be happily married to a white woman. You know what people can say about me, John, as far as fact, you know what I'm saying? Look, they can say whatever they want to about my wife. At the end of the day, she's still my motherfucking wife. Doesn't affect me. Doesn't bother me. Kiss her every day. Sometimes, you know, 18 times a day. But I'm just saying. How are you worried about what a woman says about you online that you don't know and you're supposed to be married, John? See, it's kind of like telling on yourself. Did something happen at home, John? Why are you so worried about what a woman says about you online and you're a married man with a white woman? 
Did that white woman leave you? That's why you have so much time on your hands to see what Lashid for you is saying about you in comment sections and things like that, sir. I think we're on to something, people. It just makes sense. We're thinking logically. See, the only motherfuckers that worry about people, what is said and their opinions and shit like that online are the people that are alone. Look, primary example. All right. Let's start naming off the single people that have a problem with shit you say about them. Okay. Now, we don't have to say Tommy, but, you know, we, we know that's one. Um, another individual that feels some type of way when you say something about them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think that would be John. I think that would be John. Now, for number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I want y'all to fill that list of people that have a problem with what it said. They're talking about me in the comment section. Who, who, who bitches up on situations like that? I'm just saying. Who has time? Like, Lashid, I, I want you to, to think about something. I mean, it, it amazes me on how a grown-ass man, right, that's supposed to be logical, would get a message from a troll. And look, he got an inbox from a troll, okay? Saying, Lashifa, you was talking about you in the comment section. And his motherfucking panties bunched up for him to go hunting for you in a comment section of a video. And then whatever he read just hurt his feelings so much that this bitch nigga had to make a three-part series. I mean, look, looks kind of homosexual, doesn't it, Lashid? I mean, married straight men don't do shit like this. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Kind of odd, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? So, with that being said, Lashid, it's your boy, Victor Moan. Always remember that John Logic is not logical at all. I mean, it's a troll name. The bitch run around here under troll accounts like a hoe because he doesn't have the balls to write a comment with his real name. I mean, that's much. I mean, look, I made like four or five videos on John. That bitch nigga didn't say shit. He is making a four part series to you over a comment that you wrote under a video this man is fruity and like faggish like extremely okay just remember if you're dealing with a gay man just 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 a gay motherfucker that like to take baths with goddamn eight-year-olds and smile on a goddamn camera and post it on twitter okay how logical is that seriously that's probably the video that made his wife walk out. Seriously. Dumbass nigga. It's your boy Victor Moe.